I was playing um, that in the key of C major, and um, I wasn't just, um, well I was playing chords, but I was thinking about which particular notes of the chords I was playing. For example, I very often, you know, with a chord that's three notes, if it's in root position, let's say a C major chord, that would be C, E and G. But um, if the bottom note was E, that's known as first inversion. So that would be E, G, and the C at the top. Or second inversion, the G note would be at the bottom. G at the bottom, E, G, C, E. Um, so um, often when I'm coming down melody-wise, I try and go up with the chords. I'll try and give you an example there. Um, in the middle section where it goes to F, beautiful. I place I play an inversion of F, C, F, A. Then I play A and D together, which suggests a D minor chord, but it's only two notes. Then a low A. Then G, C, E. As I'm coming down with my melody, so I'm going. You, the foremost of them all, shall ride. And then A and A together. Queen, C, F, and A. But I, she, that's a C chord. I, she, lads, G. Tears down, A minor. Down for the job of Hazel D. And she, the foremost of them all, shall ride our forest A and A, Queen F chord, 
So you see, I was playing an, a two octave A there, so it wasn't actually a chord. C, F, and A, that sort of thing. So I think very carefully about um, what notes of the chords I'm playing. I'm not just playing any old chord whatsoever. And of course, you know, there's often a choice of uh, chords. You don't, you know, for example, I could have substituted there on occasions for the G chord, um, a D, possibly a D minor, or just a D and an F. So you see, G, G seventh is G, B, D and F. Um, D minor is D, F and A. So they're very close. In fact, a G ninth would be G, B, D, F and A. So it's like crossing a G major and a D minor chord. So um, I hope that helps people a bit who want to learn the song. As I say, I was playing in C major there. And what I'll probably do, you know, is as I play that song over the years, it'll undoubtedly change. And I will probably even maybe work out uh, another variation, possibly a a uh, single harmony line. Um, so there we are, Jock of Hazeldean, key of C major. The chords were C, G, I used an A minor um, on occasions and a D minor. And sometimes in the, in the, when it goes to the second section, it actually goes to F. And then, um, you know, I use a fleeting suggestion of a D minor with a D and an A and then two A's together, and then I went back to a C major chord. Okay.